The Madonna della Corona is one of the more unique sanctuaries I've been to. It was constructed in the year 1530, roughly 2,000 feet above sea level against the vertical cliff face of Mount Baldo. Its unique location makes it far too secluded to simply drive up to. Instead, you have to park your vehicle at the top of Mount Baldo before winding your way halfway down the narrow switchback. Along the way, you'll run into a series of lifelike stations of the cross, many of which are perched at the edge of a cliff, offering a magnificent view of the valley below. Perhaps the most interesting of these stations is the 14th and final, in which the body of Christ is laid to rest in a nearby tomb. As depicted here, this particular station features an actual stone covering inside a small cave which contains a life-size representation of Christ's body. Upon completion of this winding meditational path, you will eventually arrive at a lookout point from which the view of Madonna della Corona is quite spectacular. One can only imagine the difficulty with which this church was constructed, suspended as it is into the side of a sheer cliff face. Beyond the lookout point, there is a small tunnel which leads through the mountainside and into what could be called the tiniest town in the world, complete with a restaurant and coffee shop. At the base of the church is a massive staircase, which is designed to replicate the Scala Santa, the stairs to Pilate's palace ascended by Christ before his crucifixion. These particular stairs, however, were ascended by Pope St. John Paul II in 1988, during his visit to Our Lady of the Crown, a statue reserved inside the church which has been venerated for centuries. The church, of course, underwent several renovations over the centuries, with the bell tower having been reconstructed as recently as 1922, along with the remainder of the church in 1974. These renovations were keen to retain the look and feel of the original sanctuary while providing some much-needed improvements to the church's structural integrity. Uniquely, if you look to your left upon entering, you will not see a wall as you might expect but rather the side of Mount Baldo into which the sanctuary is built. Whether you choose to admire the craftsmanship of this place or prefer to take in the stunning views that are all around you, you will find that the Madonna della Corona is a place of peace and seclusion, and the memories it leaves with you are sure to remain with you for years to come.